हेलो स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट एनर्जी चेंजेस इन अ केमिकल चेंज सो स्टूडेंट एवरी सब्सटेंस मे बी अ एलिमेंट लाइक एच टू ओ टू एन टू ओके और अ कंपाउंड लाइक एच टू ओ एस सी एल एच टू एस ओ फोर ओके वे ऑल आर एसोसिएटेड विद सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी विच इज स्टोर्ड इन इन टू दैम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी और लेटेंट एनर्जी This is stored energy is commonly called chemical energy. Okay, this one is called chemical energy. So, student, in a chemical reaction, okay, when a chemical reaction takes place, some energy is required to break the bonds between the molecules of reactants. This energy is called activation energy. This energy is called activation. energy once the bond of the participating reactants break they form new kind of bonds to form a new molecule with release of energy okay with release of energy so the difference between the chemical energy of reactant and chemical energy of the product is called energy change in a chemical reaction okay energy change in a chemical reaction so student a chemical change is basically associated with absorption or release of energy which is required to form different kind of bonds between reactant and the product this energy can be in form of heat sound or electricity if the energy of product okay if the energy of product means this activation energy is less than the reactants okay sorry sorry if the energy of products means this one this release energy okay is less than the reactants then the surplus energy is released okay if the energy of product is more than the energy of reactant then the chemical reaction proceed only with the absorption of energy means if they are having higher energy means they required higher energy and they are having lesser energy then this higher energy required some more energy from the external environment okay whereas if they are having less energy and they are having higher energy so that higher amount will be released out in form of heat light or sound okay so on the basis of this uh, energy uh, the energy released or absorbed is measured in terms of kilocalories or kilojoules and on the basis of this a reaction could be exothermic or endothermic okay exothermic means a chemical reaction which proceed with the evolution of heat energy means in such case the total energy of reactants is always the total energy of reactants is always more than the total energy of the product so in such case some sort of energy is released out in case of exothermic reaction now next one is endothermic reactions a chemical reaction which proceed with the absorption of heat okay in such case a reactions total energy of reactant is always less than the total energy of the product so that is why the products are having higher energy and so they require more energy so such kind of reaction proceed with the absorption of energy okay 